in this video I am going to give you a brief demo on how the rate of reaction between sodium thiosulfate and hydrochloric acid is affected by changing the concentration. Remember there are many factors that, uh, that affect the rate of a chemical reaction and that we have taken today concentration as our example. We are going to be dealing with the sodium thiosulfate and hydrochloric acid with different concentrations. Here, you know, the rate of a chemical reaction is uh, the change in concentration of uh, the reactant or product per unit time. And for this, for such a reaction to occur, the most the particles must collide and they must collide in the right orientation and these particles must uh, have energy that is above or equals to the activation energy. In this reaction, sodium thiosulfate will be reacting with hydrochloric acid and uh, there will be the formation of salt, sulfur dioxide which will be a gas, uh, sulfur and water. Sulfur here, the sulfur form here are small particles. These small particles uh, will form uh, what we call, uh, will make the solution to be cloudy. And when, they, when these small particles, they form a cloudy solution and make the cross under the conical flask not observable, that's when we say a reaction has taken place. In that case, in that case, we will be measuring the time taken for the cross to disappear. We will be watching it from above or from above the conical flask. And uh, immediately the cross is invisible, we will take our reading by then. At the moment, we have sodium thiosulfate, hydrochloric acid, we have five conical flasks of different uh, concentration. The first one will contain 50 cm cube uh, of 0 0.2 mole per dm cube of uh, sodium thiosulfate. The second one will contain 40 cm cube of 0 0.2 mole per dm cube of uh, sodium thiosulfate. The third one will contain 30 cm cube of uh, 0 0.2 mole per dm cube of sodium thiosulfate. Uh, the fourth one will contain uh, 20 cm cube of 0 0.2 mole per dm cube sodium thiosulfate, and the last one will contain 10 cm cube of 0 0.2 mole per, uh, 0 0.2 mole uh, 0 0.2 mole of uh, sodium uh, mole per dm cube of sodium thiosulfate. Now, what is going to be changing? will be the concentration of sodium thiosulfate from 50, 40, 30, 20, and 10. The concentration of hydrochloric acid is going to remain constant. We are going to add 5 cm cube of hydrochloric acid into all of this. Into all of this. And uh, immediately the cloudy solution start changing, we take, we take our readings. Okay, we start uh, straight away with uh, sodium thiosulfate, 50 ml. Now here we have already 500 uh, ml of uh, sodium thiosulfate. We don't need to add water because we have to make the volume to be 50. So what we need to add there will only be 5 uh, cm cube of uh, hydrochloric acid. So now we pour it into the conical flask. After that, we add our 5 cm cube of hydrochloric acid, we swell it and 
see, take our reading immediately. Okay. The white precipitate of sulfur are not forming. The white precipitate of sulfur are not forming. It won't be long. The, the cloudy uh, solution will turn yellow. The cross is still observable. The cross is gradually disappearing. Still observable. See observable. The cross has disappeared. I take now my readings. So now the first concentration has taken some time. Now I've taken my reading. 
I now go to the second concentration. This is a mixture of water and a 40 ml of sodium thiosulfate. I put it into the conical flask. Now this is 5 ml or 5 cm cube of the acid. I put it there. I swirl it. Then I start my stopwatch. After carrying out a series of these uh, experiments from 50 uh, cm cube concentration of sodium disulfate to 40 cm cube of uh, 40 cm cube concentration 40 cm cube of uh, 0.2 uh, mole per dm cube um, sodium disulfate to 30 to 20 and to 10. I have collected the number of uh, the, the, my time for each of the concentrations. I am not going to use this time to calculate and to draw a graph of to draw a graph of concentration against time. I am still going to use these figures to determine the concentration, uh, the, the, the concentration if 0 0.02 moles of sodium thiosulfate reacted with hydrochloric acid. Per each of the experiments, I am going to determine the concentration if 0 0.02 moles of sodium thiosulfate reacted with hydrochloric acid. I am going to determine the number of moles, I then uh, I'm going to determine the concentration. Uh, for each experiment, and uh, I will use that uh, the concentration to draw a graph of uh, a graph of uh, reaction time against concentration. I will draw a graph of reaction time against concentration, and lastly, I'm still going to use the time for each of the concentration to calculate for the rate and in that case 
I am going to plot a graph of reaction rate against concentration. When you do all this, you'll be able to understand what the rate of a chemical reaction is. How to determine the rate of a chemical reaction by changing concentration. Thank you. Keep watching more of our lab videos.